Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Today we are cooking to celebrate our 100,000 subscribers. Now before you guys discovered Headbangers Kitchen, most of the old subscribers, like I'm talking below 5,000 subscribers, they knew this channel for the heavy metal interviews and some of the food I made which was named after the bands that I interviewed. And other people knew me for this dish I used to cook called the bacon bomb. It was bacon stuffed with peppers and onions and more crispy bacon and cheese and it was rolled up and wrapped in bacon and then it was baked and covered in barbecue sauce and you guys saw me make a mini version the bacon bomb balls on one of the early episodes. But since we crossed a hundred thousand subs I thought to myself you know what we need to do the bacon bomb again so you guys can all get acquainted with it and we're going to, well, update the recipe and do it a little different with the keto barbecue sauce that I showed you guys how to make. So it was the perfect combination. And anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's go and make that delicious bacon bomb. So we're going to start by seasoning our mince and I'm using ground pork. We're going to season it with some salt, some pepper, some paprika, some cayenne pepper, and some garlic bread seasoning and this has pretty much all the herbs in it so you don't really need any other herbs but of course you can do whatever you like you can put fresh parsley fresh rosemary fresh thyme whatever you want it's yours to like make your own anyway give it all a good mix and our pork is ready to be used now i've lined my cutting board with some cling film and this is going to help us later on and i'm going to put the mince onto that cling film and shape it into a square once that's done, I'm going to grate the zest of a lime onto that pork mince just for some freshness and because I have it and I can use it because my aunt got it for me from the UK and you don't get these in India. Well, you do, but they're like so expensive. I have to sell a kidney to buy one. Then I'm going to lay down some onion, some green bell peppers, some freshly chopped black olives, some cheese, and some beef pastrami that I got from Turkey thanks to my father-in-law. This will be very interesting. Anyway, once that's done, we're going to cut the cling film from one side. And this is where it comes in handy. We're going to use the cling film to roll the bacon bomb. We just roll it, roll it, roll and roll and roll and roll and roll in. And once you've secured that bacon bomb, make sure you press everything together nicely so it's a nice compact bomb. And then pick it up gently and put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes. Now I'm going to lay down some bacon strips on my cutting board. Now this you'll have to adjust according to the length of your bacon strips. Mine seem to be a little short. I don't know. Let's see. Anyway, once those are laid down, get that bacon bomb out of the fridge and put it on those bacon strips. And then you just wrap it in that bacon. Oh yeah, simple and easy. Once that's done, let's put it onto our baking tray on a wire rack and then I'm going to put that barbecue sauce on it and use my basting brush and paint it with that barbecue sauce. Like Picasso, I'm going to paint my bacon bomb. Once your bacon bomb is painted in barbecue sauce, I mean covered in barbecue sauce, put it in your oven which has been preheated to 200 degrees Celsius and we're going to cook it for 45 minutes. Halfway through the process, you want to remove it and baste it one more time with that barbecue sauce. And after 45 minutes, that bacon bomb is ready. And oh yeah, that looks great and we're going to rest it now for about 20 minutes. Look at that delicious bacon bomb. It is a work of art. Anyway, now time to cut open the bacon bomb and look at that cross section. Oh my goodness, porky heaven. That looks fantastic. And I think it's time to taste. Alrighty folks, it's time to taste the bacon bomb and I have pre-cut my bacon bomb slice so that I can eat it without a knife because I obviously have no table to cut it. Anyway, enough jibba jabba, let me taste. Oh. Wow, what an explosion of flavors. Oh my goodness gracious, gabooshes. I can't believe it. I mean, I've had bacon bombs before because I made them. But wow, this 
this flavor pairing first of all the lemon the lemon zest has just like elevated this to the next level that vibrancy that freshness and that tangy barbecue sauce the olives with that little bit of saltiness that uh, beef pastrami from uh, turkey yeah it's from turkey and oh my god i'm just like it's you know i given that i used to take orders for bacon bombs and used to sell these and uh, i ate a fair amount of them i was kind of sick of it and i never thought i'd really like be like crazy about it again and i haven't made it in a really really long time and i'm like just wow this is amazing i want to eat one more bite wish i just cut it ah there it is let's have another bite and the cheese and the peppers and mm. so good so good anyway i'm gonna say bye bye i'm gonna go finish this i hope i will see you soon enough well i will see you soon enough on the next episode of headbangers kitchen cheers and keep cooking Horns up folks, we've got Headbangers Kitchen t-shirts and Headbangers Kitchen mugs now available. We've even got a store in the USA making and selling these and I've put the links in the video description box below. If you like the channel, click here and subscribe or click here and support us on Patreon or click here and watch another video. And I play in a heavy metal band, you can listen to one of my songs right here. Cheers!